There's a term in the wine world called terroir. It comes from the French word la terre, meaning earth or soil. And it refers to the unique elements within a region that impact the qualities of the grapes that grow there. The type of soil, the temperature, the amount of sun or wind, the elevation, all of these things impact the flavor of the grapes, which in turn impact the flavor of the wine made from those grapes. It comes down to a sense of place you can actually taste. The equivalent term in shellfish is meroir, from mer, the French word for the sea. The temperature of the water, the currents, the runoff from the land, all these factors contribute to the type of plankton, trace minerals and elements in the water, and they impact the flavor of the shellfish grown there. Oyster connoisseurs understand this. They know that where an oyster comes from is an essential component of its flavor. But meroir is not unique to oysters. Where a shellfish grows absolutely impacts how it tastes. This is true for all shellfish, but it's particularly true for filter feeders like clams, mussels, oysters, and scallops. A body of water imbues essential characteristics to the organisms that live and grow within it. After all, shellfish takes everything they will ever be from the water they live and grow in. What minerals are present in the water? Is it an uninterrupted area open to the ocean so it's super briny, or is it fed by a large river and protected by sheltering islands? What grows on the surrounding shore? Is it a pine forest, a sandy beach, or a meadow? All these factors are consequential to the water bodies we harvest from, and they create unique flavors in the resulting seafood. Our scallops grow close to shore in Maine, unlike waters to our south, where the inshore waters get too warm for them in summer. Our cold, pure waters generate scallops and other shellfish of fantastic flavor. As the crow flies, it's 228 miles in a straight line from Kittery to Eastport. But Maine's coast is not a straight line. We have deep, crenulated bays, and each of these bays are different. They have different salinities, different minerals, different nutrients coming from the adjacent lands and the rivers emptying into them. This results in different flavor profiles for our shellfish. A Cobbs Cook Bay scallop will taste different from a Casco Bay scallop, which will taste very different from a Gouldsboro Bay scallop. That's due to the differences between the water bodies, but it's also due to genetic differences between the scallops themselves, which have evolved within those water bodies. There's a lot of mixing between some areas, and in other more isolated areas, there are clear genetic differences, which is so cool. The Gulf of Maine is pure and pristine relative to other water bodies because the adjacent lands and the rivers that empty into the Gulf are pristine. The rivers that run through Maine flow through some stunningly beautiful and often quite remote areas. 89% of Maine is forested. That's the highest amount of any state in the U.S. Our rivers aren't running through industrial parks. They're flowing through forests and over granite scoured by glaciers thousands of years ago. When they finally reach the sea, the water they're delivering is fresh, pure, and nutrient rich. We also have some of the highest tides in the world. That means the water column over our scallops and oysters, clams, and mussels is constantly changing. Our shellfish isn't sitting in a stagnant pool of water. It's growing beneath a dynamic system that brings in nutrients, salt, plankton, and other tasty stuff, then flushes everything out twice each day. Maine produces the absolute best tasting shellfish in the world. Back when I was a fisheries manager, a dealer once told me scallops from her area tasted better than any other area in Maine. And I remember thinking she was crazy. There's no way you can tell scallops from different areas apart. But I've been selling Maine seafood for 11 years now, and let me tell you, the differences can be striking. Some are quite subtle, and you need to taste the scallops raw to really pick up on the nuances. But some will just slap you in the face, and it's really fun to experience them. So just like in wine, where a Chardonnay grape grown in Chablis will yield a completely different beverage from a Chardonnay grape grown in Sonoma, shellfish picks up the qualities of the water it grows in. Understanding and appreciating these differences is what Meroir is all about. And if you're going to taste a place, shouldn't it be Maine? <laughs>